Welcome back to another game between Random, the Green Protoss, and Divan. Um, th these games are before the patch. Uh, I just haven't had time to cast them yet since I have been very, very busy with school stuff. And I do study at Blakinge Institute of Technology in Sweden, Karlshamn. So, well, school is more important than StarCraft 2. Real life in general are more important than StarCraft in than a video game. However, I am back for more action and I have more games to cast after these this game between Random Divan. There's not much going on right now. They both just let put on their first pylons and sent off the building probe to scout which which is very very standard for Protoss to do and there goes a the gateway for random I believe the gateway for D1 is coming out anytime soon now as well both players are chrono boosting out their probes there goes the gateway for D1 um, one thing that is a lot of people say on this map is that you always spawn on the cross position and I don't know why I don't even know if, if it is true but every game every time I see someone play on this map they seem to be spawning on the cross position so <laughs> Tivano says that he almost believed that it could be possible to have a map hack for him because uh, he moves straight over like this, but uh, he, he is probably also aware of what people say about this map, that you always spawn at the cross position. Gas... Whoa! He's making two gas, which uh, I guess is going for some sort of tech strategy here, while Random only has one gaze or so far. And he only has one gateway uh, as he puts down the cybernetics core while D1 is making. Oh, he's also making one gateway than cybernetics core. Hmm. Well, I don't know that if that's standard. I always go two gateway then cybernetics core. Then again, my main race is not Protoss. And I don't think this is big enough for one Zilla to block, so. You yeah, I was getting out a second Zealot, probably to block that off. And he's also work working on warp technology. Devon just now finished his cybernetics core, so he's probably going to work on warp technology now as well. Um, one thing that you also can do is this map is to break down these rocks, then break down these rocks, and you will be into your opponent's base. As you can move across here, there's also one expansion down there, so... And this map used to be a 2 versus 2 map back in the beta days, however, they have since then changed it to a 1 versus 1 map. And nothing really out of the. Oh, whoa! He's getting a robotics facility one. And he still only has one gateway, so I'm not quite. I'm quite excited about what he's planning to do while Divan seems to be going for a build more similar to the one he went last game with three gateway push which did in fact win him the game but now he's making a fourth gateway so this could be four gate push now what a three gate push and four gate push is that you make th three or four gateways then you attack usually you will also bring a probe to make a pylon or proxy pylon as it's called close to your opponent's base that is so you can warp in units closer to your opponent's base to reinforce the attack. Um, my brother told me that I don't talk quite as much as I probably should do during the casting. However, however uh, in games like this there's generally not much to talk about. There's no harassment going on or anything cheesy like that. However, Divan is moving out of his base now. 
to and he's moving up here so he's probably going to destroy these rocks then move across here and destroy these rocks to take the back door into Randall's base however Random has gotten his first observer out and nicely put his the waypoint down here to Devon's base working on the rocks there this is going to take some time with these units since the destructible rocks has 2,000 hit points and three armor and then he has to destroy these ones as well so chances are high that random is going to notice this before they get there considering that he has his observer here now and can see all of the forces that leave the base of demons and he's not just now moving up with more strikers up here random also has to see a lot out to control these towers so he can get vision over these large areas in the middle however the Selenaga watchtowers cannot see this position up here so he's not going to see demons forces however now that they have to work through the second set of the rocks into Demon random's back base random can in fact see it as we can see here we can see that all of these units are attacking the rocks and now he moves closer so all of the units will attack else will just spread out like this and then Oh, the units back here won't be able to attack. They're almost down now. He still doesn't seem like he has noticed that since all of his forces are back here. But now that they're coming up the ramp, he does in fact notice them. Demon tried to block the weather, the weather for the probes not to escape. And he focuses fire on these mortal, which Random is nicely migrating. Nice force field, they are blocking half of uh, Demon's forces and catching them here to be annihilated. If we look at the units loss tab, Tima lost 10 units in this attack worth of 1,475 minerals while Random has lost 2 units worth of 100 minerals which must be 2 probes. And these forces are of randoms are out for vengeance. They are following Tima's forces here but they are not committing to it and are t returning back to base. He also has his probe down here ready to make an uh, expansion but Demon is blocking that with a probe. And now we have some probe fighting here and there comes the army to clean that up. So now he can put on his expansion here and Demon is probably realizing that Random is going to make an expansion there, so if he's going to ever have a chance of catching up in this game, he needs to make an expansion of his own, which is happening just now, I believe. There we go, yes. Seems like Random is going for Colossi now, but he does. He does. Where does. Let's see, where does. Did his observer go? There it is. He, he's moving around Dion's base to see exactly what's going on. He has probably seen these stargates, uh, or he is at least going to now. And you can slightly see what kind of units it is that is being produced here. So he's going to know that it is void rays that is going to come out of these stargates. So he's going to be prepared for that. He's. He, he is getting cannons by his mineral line to de defend from that void ray attack. And his expansion is now almost finished. Devans is slightly behind, but I don't think this little time difference is going to make a huge difference. However, do remember that Devan has lost more of the units than random and is generally behind in this game. So if he wants to win, he will have to make something happen. And that's soon. However, since since they both have one expansion, the random is not going to get, move any more ahead of Devon than he already is. However, he do needs to transfer workers over to his ex expansion since there are probes moving around here, switching from the mineral field to mineral field all the time. That does indeed prove that this mineral location is oversaturated.
Inferno boosting out Thermal Lancer by random. So he is probably going to get uh, Colossi anytime soon. He does have his observer here, so you can see exactly what Devon is making. He's making CLOTs, so he knows that. And Colossi do counter CLOTs due to their splash damage. And he, but he also needs stalkers to go against these void rays. Oh, seems like I missed a fight here with void rays. This void ray has taken damage, and I believe I saw three void rays being made by Demon earlier, so one, one void ray must have gone down. Anyway, seems like Demon is going to make another attack here on random. And. And nice force build there, catching one CLOT on the other side there that goes down. And we can see that Demon just now lost one more unit, and Random has also lost one more unit. I didn't see that either. There, the one of the Void Rays goes down. He only has one Void Ray left now. And one thing that Demon does right here is that he's keeping the Void Ray together with his army. Some people believe that. Void rays are only for harassment or being masked, but that's not true. Void rays can be very, very powerful in the mix of a army. And looks like Random is going to move out himself now. He does catch that when D1 is moving over with a void ray here. He's probably intending to come from this way to harass this expansion, however. Random sends his Starkers off to intercept this Void Ray. And now he's going to work on these rocks, I believe. Yes, there we go. I was for a moment thinking that I would have been wrong and that he was just going to see what was down here, but he does notice that Dival is once again moving out for blood. And does pull all stalkers back except for one. And this stalker is like, oh man, I get to do all the boring work by, by cleaning up blocks here. Not much changing right now. Devil is getting observers of his own and he's also getting a robotics bay. How uh, all both players are grabbing their second expansions. Devils is a little up bit ahead here, and Devon says Devon is so far behind in this game. He needs to make something happen and to catch up, either by grabbing more expansions to mine faster and being able to mass out armies faster than random, or do some sort of harassment on Randall's mineral line. However. These cannons are going to be protecting these expansions. And now it seems like Random is moving out. He has a lot of Immortals, a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Zealots, and two Colossi against uh, Stalkers and Zealots mostly, which uh, Immortals do counter Immortal Stalkers and Colossi do counter Zealots. So and now it takes out Devan's third expansion here. This is going to put Devan even further behind than he was before. Now Devan comes to protect to kill this army of nice force field there by random. And these colors I can shoot further than any of Devan's units and are going to splash damage all of the units that's trying to get up the ramp. So Devan has to pull back. Here they go again. Backs up with the color side. More force fields coming down. Even more fossils come down. D I think Devon tried to trap some random units here. Now, random uses force fields to split up these units. All the splash damage that is done by this Colossi is devastating, and Demon is not going to survive this attack. More reinforcements coming in here, and he takes down one Colossi, and both players are retreating. I do believe that if random had committed to this attack, he would have been able to take these stalkers out and also been able to do a lot of damage here on this uh, expansion and he do have two sentries here with enough energy to block this ramp off so he could, I do believe he could have taken this expansion out as well
but he didn't want to commit to that and now there's going to be additional defenses here. Now Devon has Colossus of his own. He's forced to rebuild this expansion up here, however he is very very far behind in this game now. I do believe that he needs to make something happen soon or he will won't be able to win this game. This expansion is oversaturated and he's all mined out in his main. Random is all almost mined out in his main and this mineral this base is slightly oversaturated while there's barely any workers here. It transferred slightly too many workers over. Whoa! Random is making a mothership up here. He is not chronobusting it out, however, and he does have a lot of energy stacked up on these next size. Another battle com committing down here. I'm going to pull back here to see exactly what was going on since uh, it's so boring to miss these fights. I think I can speed up a bit here to see what exactly what was going on. Demon transferring over workers to his new expansion, more enforcements coming in for random and This is a long game, I didn't realize that. Anyway, these Colossi are almost finished. I think Devan will move out when once these Colossi comes out. And he does indeed. Or not. More Colossi coming out. And Random has his mothership on the field. Here, now he's moving out. Or so I believe, it It must have been somewhere around that this time. The mothership is here, yo mama! And, oh, escorted, and she's escorted by one carrier here. And now here's five Colossi by Devan. I'm not, I don't think this is quite the, although they do deal splash damage, I don't think this is the unit that Devan reads needs right now. And he has the advantage of the high ground though, however, Random has air units here that can spot these units on the high ground and barely, I believe random barely lost any unit here oh my god it's GG, Demon GG is out after losing all these stalkers here that got caught here, here by the this massive army of stalkers and immortals um, this is um, was a very exciting game I almost missed the final battle in the end. Um, this this things happens when uh, there's barely anything going on in the games, and you tr or try looking around all of the map to try and find something to talk about. Anyway, I hope you liked it. There will be more games coming up, S and this is Mr. Random Entity signing out.